Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at the new iPad OS 13.2 which is just a few days away from being released to the public iPad OS 13.2 of course will bring a ton of new features and changes to iPad OS so in this video I will show you guys 25 new features and changes that are coming to your iPad with iPad OS 13.2 starting off with the settings app now on the settings app on iPad OS 13.2 you will have a new section called home screen and dock right here you will find the options for the home screen so you will have the app icon layout here so you will have more and bigger of course more is the one that keeps the widgets right there on the home screen then lower here you will enable you will have an, a button to enable the today's view could keep the today's view on the home screen and then here will have multitasking and dock if you go to multitasking of course you will have all the options here and then also you can show the suggested apps in the dock by enabling the switch right there on the home screen if you go to the dock and 3d touch on one of the icons of the recent apps you will have the option to hide that app from the recent section here on the dock just tap that button right there at the top of the 3d touch menu and you can easily remove the app from the recent section on the dock on ipad os 13.2 if you add an app to the side here on the split screen you will have the option to choose between different windows of that app so if you have like for example if i have safari here opened in multiple like windows i will have the option here to choose any one of these windows and i can open them right here so just tap any of them to open it here also from this menu you will have the ability to close any of these windows all you gotta do is just swipe them up just like you do on the app cards and as easy as that you can basically close any one of these and just leave the one that you want to use there are a few changes on the 3d touch menu on the home screen as well now you will have the ability to delete apps directly from the 3d touch menu as easy as that just tap delete app and you will have the option to delete the app right from there also if you 3d touch on the menu you will see that now you will have this button called edit home screen that used to be rearrange apps and now on ipad os 13.2 that has been renamed to edit home screen when taking a screenshot on ipad os 13.2 you will notice a difference when taking a screenshot on light mode and when taking a screenshot on the dark mode so you can see i take a screenshot right here and you will see the normal flash that you get when taking a screenshot but if i go ahead and enable a dark mode you will notice now the screenshot flash will be way way darker that way it will basically just save your eyes from that blinding flash that you get when taking a screenshot also what's really really cool is that whether what based on which item you screenshot right here if i go to safari and i screenshot here the apple website you can see that if i go to edit the screenshot right here i tap the share button you will see that it will name the screenshot based on the scene that you have screenshotted the volume hood has also changed on ipad os 13.2 you will notice now the volume hood will have a new animation when just disappearing from the screen you will see that nice little animation that it gets when just moving from the screen and now it also gets removed from the screen way way faster so it won't interrupt with your content just as easy as that you can see how fast it removes from the screen and also you get that cool animation on ipad os 13.2 when you 3d touch on a link of course it will show you a preview of that link not just in safari on any app where there is a link you can 3d touch on it and it shows you a preview of that link you can now hide the preview directly from here now you will get that button at the top of the preview to hide the preview and if you leave it like this anytime you go ahead and 3d touch on another link you will still get no preview but if you tap right there you will get the preview back the web settings menu also has been changed now this settings will be separated into different sections as you can notice right here we'll have the reader view right there you have then the font and the color and then you have the website settings right here also there is a change here on the fonts now it won't show you all the fonts on the menu but you will have to tap on the fonts and then it will show you the list of fonts right here so that has been changed you won't see a long list here but you will just have to tap right there to go into the fonts menu 
And as on iOS 13.2, on iPad OS 13.2, of course, you will get the new emojis. So we have the dogs here. We have like a planet there. And also we have like different foods. Around 70 new emojis have been added to iOS and iPad OS 13.2. And what's really, really interesting is a new feature. Then when you go ahead and choose like couples here, now you will have the option to go ahead and pick like custom skin tone variations. So just go ahead and tap right here and you can see right there, you can choose the first one. And then of course you can choose the second one as well based on the color that you want to choose like different color variations right there you can choose whichever one you want that's really really cool and of course you can have your combination right there on the podcast app on ipad os 13.2 now you will have the ability to basically search audio so just use keywords to search audio and it will find topics and people mentioned on the audio based on the keyword that you choose so just go to the search section you can see this is still in beta just go ahead and search here for any keyword that you want and it will go ahead and just basically find your podcasts based on the keyword and if that keyword is mentioned on any podcast it will find it for you and of course we'll show it here on the results there are some small changes on the TV app as well. Now you will have a 3D touch menu when 3D touching on any of the items right here on the home screen of the TV app. Also, if you go to one of the items here, you will have now a new button right there at the top right corner. Let's just wait for this to load a second. So right there at the top right corner, you will have that add button. So you want to add it to the up next list. Just go ahead, tap right there. You want to remove it. Just tap again right there. Of course, once you add it, you will see that check mark and it will say add it so that you know that that item is already on the up next list. There are some changes also within the Siri section on the settings app. Now you will find here Siri and dictation history. If you go right there, you will have the ability to delete Siri and dictation history. So you want to delete that. You can do that directly from here. Also, if you go to privacy and go to analytics and improvements, now you will have an option to enable or disable improve Siri and dictation. So if you don't want to help Apple basically by allowing Apple to store and review your audio, you don't want to help them to improve Siri and dictation, you can just go ahead and disable that switch right there. Again, go into privacy and right here into analytics and improvements, you will find the option. On the shortcuts app now you will have the ability to share shortcuts just go to one of your shortcuts basically what you need to do is just have the three dots and then just tap the share button and directly from here you will have the option to airdrop it share it on any of the apps or of course copy the icloud link of that shortcut on the control center there has been a change on the volume slider as well now it will show you right here when you go into it it won't show you the ipad or the iphone if you're on ios 13.2 right there at the icon at the top it will just show you a speaker right there and also it will show you a speaker here but now is much bigger it used to be here before and now is much bigger also if you're using a device like a bluetooth device or you have your airpods connected it won't show them here it will just show them right here on on, on play on the place where this speaker is right now it will replace it with the icon of your, the device in which you're currently streaming the sound but it won't show it here when you go inside the slider on the settings app going to general now you will have airplay and handoff settings right here right here if you go inside you can go ahead and enable or disable handoff of course and you'll also have automatic airplay to tvs if you go right here you can choose automatic ask or never when setting a wallpaper of course you have the option here to enable or disable perspective zoom now it will show you the text right here it used to be just the icon and now you will also have the text which shows you when the perspective perspective zoom is off or on if you have installed any apps that install fonts on ipad os 13.2 and you want to delete that app now it will show you that that app has fonts installed on your device so you can see i tried to delete this app it will show me right here like the option 
to go ahead and show the installed fonts also shows me that deleting this app will also delete the fonts that this app has installed you can tap right there and it will show you all the fonts that this app has installed on your device and there is a change also on the time limit if you go to, to one of the apps that has reached its time limit you will see that the ok button has been redesigned on ipad os 13.2 and ios 13.2 of course so that's basically it for this video guys these are 25 new features and changes that you will find on ipad os 13.2 once it comes to your device in a few days like october 28th or 29th or even 30th one of these days like monday tuesday or wednesday will be the days one of them will be the day that apple will release ios 13.2 so at the beginning of the next week you can expect this update to come to your device so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one